Welcome back to part two of my Italy travel diary. We spent our days exploring the town, swimming in the Mediterranean Sea, and lounging in our incredible Airbnb. If you're planning a trip to Italy, stopping by Cinque Terre is a must. I will be linking all the details down below and on my Instagram daily, so check it out for tips and photo ideas. So we are here at our second Airbnb here in Italy, and we're here in Cinque Terre, specifically Rio Maggiore, and this is the most amazing Airbnb we have ever stayed at. Um, this is the space, this is the living room, the bedrooms over there. This is, this is the kitchen right over here, dining table, but this is the best part. We couldn't believe how incredibly lucky we were to stay at this Airbnb. It was booked up for months in advance and we loved being right in the center of town overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. We just went shopping and got some stuff for the house. This area is known for lemons. Look how it pours. So smooth. It's good. Try the little bit. It's very cool. I thought it was like lemonade. <laughs> We heard this pizza shop was a must, so we got some takeout and enjoyed the stunning sunset right from our balcony. The next day, we decided to hike from the town Bernaza to Monterosso and spent our afternoon exploring Rio Maggiore. You can easily see all five towns in one day, but I'd recommend staying overnight to get the whole experience. This is seriously one of my favorite places I've ever been to in the world. First gelato at Rio Maggiore. <laughs> but you think everything is good. <laughs> Currently hiking from Bernaza to Monterosa, and look at this view of the hike. Oh, it's so beautiful. We made it to our spot. That is the view right there. <laughs> we made it. Thanks for watching. I hope this inspires you to add Cinque Terre to your bucket list and hopefully visit one day. I encourage everyone to step out of their comfort zone and to get out and see the world. There are so many beautiful places and there's more to come in my Italy travel series.